Good day, grade tens, and welcome to module 2.3. We're looking at the World Wide Web. So we're looking at web pages, websites, web addresses, web browsers, and search engines. And in our web pages, the first thing you need to know is that a collection of hyperlinked interactive documents are called web pages. That is the definition of a web page. Please remember that. A group of these web pages, related web pages, stored at the same address or web address is known as a website. So please, typical questions that come up, uh, the difference between a web page and a website. Now, websites can be created by anyone, and some of them don't cost money for you to create, but it usually costs some money to maintain and support. So um, this usually belongs to other companies or organizations. Now, when we look at the structure of a website, we see that most of them have must have a landing page this is the first um, page that you see when you type in a particular website address and then everything from there within the site itself that is our individual web pages that can have text graphics audio video can have hyperlinks to other things as well your websites can also like i just mentioned have hyperlinks now hyperlink just so we understand, it's a built-in connection to another website, web page, or other resource. So sometimes you have hyperlinks to other sites. You have hyperlinks to download things. Um, yeah, the hyperlink does that. And it's usually indicated, usually, as text underlined in blue, or it has um, a blue outline for a graphic. So, yeah, that's usually how you know you're dealing with a hyperlink. This is why when I go to, let me maybe just open and I go and type in, let's say I'm looking for entertainment websites. These are all, there's a hyperlink. There's a hyperlink. There's a hyperlink because when I click on it, it's going to take me somewhere else. Okay. So we can have that inside the web page as well. Then, a website must be hosted on a web server. So a web server, yes, another definition, is a computer connected to the internet that hosts websites. That's a web server. And the webmaster is the person who maintains and develops the website. Now, next year you will be creating web pages. Um, it depends on your particular school. But usually we'll be using HTML4, HTML5 in some cases to um, create our own websites. Now, web addresses. So the format of a URL or a uniform resource locator, you need to know that as well, is usually as follows. We have the, and this whole section deals with the domain name. So remember, www is a service that runs on the internet. Then we have our site name. Then we have the type of organization it is and the geographical location. So it doesn't work the same way for each and every website. For example, study opportunities, the site name, the type of organization, because the website is a .co.za. That means it's a company located in South Africa. Facebook is a commercial website. The CIA is a government website. How do I know this? Because all of those things indicate something else they indicate the type of organization so dot com is a commercial organization dot buzz is a business dot gov is a government website dot edu is an educational website dot co is a company dot ac is an academic organization these things you must know okay they usually ask two or three of those in the tests and exams also, the geographical abbreviations, .co.za, Zait Africa. You know, we, we are always a special bunch here in South Africa. .co.uk, a company located in the United Kingdom. .co.au, a company located in Australia. Right? So, we, we have these URLs, we have these abbreviations. And please just know at least two or three of them um, because this does come up. Right. Our web addresses are also IP addresses. Okay? So, don't get confused. Remember now, your IP address is a numerical address. 
This uniquely identifies any computer or device connected to the internet or connected to your network. So each one has a unique address. Now, when I go to Google, I type in www.google.co.za. But there is a specific IP address for google.co.za. So if I type in that address, I'm going to come to google.co.za. Or if I type in www.google.co.za, I'm coming to that site via this IP address. So whether I type in either one, it's still going to take me here, which is easier for people to remember, the web address or the IP address, the web address. So we have a service called DNS, which actually then um, allows us to put in the name and it will link up to that particular IP address and allow you to then um, access that particular site. So yeah, that's why I mentioned that. Make sure you understand that. Then we go into the types of websites we have, and we have web portals. Um, this is usually the starting point for searching on the web. You maybe go to certain uh, web portals that will have information and links to a whole lot of other sites. Uh, you have government web portals as well, like Tutong, and most teachers will know this. You go to Tutong, and there's links to a variety of resources. You have informational websites. That's a website that's just giving you a lot of information on particular topics. You have news websites. That's going to give you current events, you know, magazines, newspapers, all this type of thing. You have business or marketing websites as well. We have personal websites. We have, and this one you must know, wikis. It's a website that allows for collaborative editing, so creating and editing of web pages. This is why we don't always use Wikipedia as a resource um, to reference because we don't know who's actually been contributing towards that final article. We also have educational websites. We have entertainment websites. We have advocacy websites where they are pushing a particular um, I don't want to say agenda, but a particular view. So a website um, focusing on animals, focusing on the Endangered Wildlife Trust, Feeding America, whatever it is. There are web applications that we access, like Gmail and Google Calendar. And then we have content aggregators. Now, please understand this one because it does come up. It is a website or application that gathers different web content, like news, weather, movie reviews, from different online sources. And there are two main types of content aggregators. The first one will just gather info from a variety of sources and it displays it, displays it on its own website. So like IMDB and Rotten Tomatoes. Okay? Whereas others will gather the info from a variety of sources, but distribute it to subscribers based on what they want. So if, for example, um, getting all the info from news, weather, movie reviews, but I only want movie reviews, then it will only push that to me. Okay. The next couple of questions, always things that come up. What is a web browser? This is a software application. In other words, this is a program that allows one to view and explore web pages on the web, either via hyperlinks or by typing the address in the address bar of the web browser. Google Chrome is a web browser. It is not a search engine. Please remember that. Then we have features of the web browsers. So all web browsers will have an address bar, a back button, a forward button, refresh, reload, home button, tabbed browsing, bookmarks, customize tools. These are just the common features that we find in web browsers. So then what is a search engine? Because Google is a search engine, Yahoo, Bing, um, Yahoo Search is a search engine. These are programs used to search for documents on the web by using keywords or phrases entered by the user. Please use that as a definition or something close to that. Um, otherwise, yeah, you're not going to get that right. Also check your examples, please. Now, in order to facilitate successful searching on the internet, you go to or you use Google Chrome, you go to Google, 
And what do you do now? You want to find, I don't know, pictures of webcams or information on web cameras. You need to decide exactly on what you want to find, identify keywords, use synonyms if necessary, and you can even use the advanced search options. So let me just check something here. Okay, so I'm looking for, let's say, entertainment websites. Um, I'm going to go up to tools. Sorry, I was looking in the wrong place now. And I can click on advanced search. And there I can do an advanced search for whatever it is I'm looking for. Find pages with all of these words, the exact word, any of these words, none of these words. That is me using the advanced features to find what I'm, what I'm looking for. Okay. And then don't forget to give credit where due. The bibliography is essential. Right. And great tens, that's it for our module on websites, web pages, hyperlinks, web servers, all of these things. Um, and don't forget those tips that I've given you.